Those of you who have the lights, please put them on. I know at a birthday celebration you blow out candles. I think the more appropriate thing to do is to light the candles, bring more light into the world. I've been privileged to know Mayor Eric Adams for at least 35 years. I officiated at his bar mitzvah some years ago. But I always recall a story this mayor told to some of us who were there when he was installed as a state senator of the state of New York. He talked about his campaign and going around collecting funds for the campaign, a woman who didn't have much gave him a jar of pennies. And he looked at it and she said, I'll tell you why I'm giving you this jar. Firstly, I don't have more money to give you. But secondly, I want you to look at this jar and always remember the people who are not so fortunate in this world. And he would keep that jar on his desk and daily recall what she had said and keep that promise. Don't forget the little people, so-called, the people who made it possible for him to become the mayor of this city. So I introduce to you the 110th mayor of the city of New York and the next speaker here tonight <laughs> at this program. Mayor Eric Adams. <laughs> There's only one, <laughs> only one Rabbi Potashnik, and uh, he's right, uh, just a longtime friend and advisor and a person that truly love uh, this city and the people in this city. And we have been side by side on many occasions when we saw the ugly face of hate expose itself. It didn't matter if it was fighting on behalf of our brothers and sisters from the Muslim community when our women were attacked for wearing a hijab, if it's someone that draws a swastika on a building or desecrate a church statue or harm someone because they're from the AAPI community. There's just a consistent understanding that we must lift each other up, and he represents what's best about us. I say all the time, members of the greatest race alive, the human race, and you are truly a representation of that. We know, and no matter what people say on other parts of the globe or in other cities, we know that New York is the Tel Aviv of America. We have the largest Jewish population outside of Israel right here. And on my two visits there and getting ready to return again, we know what the Israeli people stand for and what they represent across the entire globe. Built into your culture is what you call a mitzvah. You believe in giving back. You believe in ensuring that you help your fellow man and women. That is who you are. And so when we stand here and celebrate uh, your anniversary, your independence, uh, your creation, that is also a celebration for those who have touched in many ways. And we also must reflect on a reminder that the dark and ugly parts of what has impacted uh, your culture and your people. Uh, when I was in Krakow, and went to the camps, walking through there, seeing the tragedies and horrors that is unspeakable. The number of young people who don't know their great grandparents and great aunts and great uncles because they lost them during the Holocaust. It must be a reminder that we never can stand by again and watch hate start out as words and turn into action. That is my commitment as the mayor of this city to say first thank you for being part of this great city and saying that I am looking forward to raising this flag to show the solidarity that New York City has with the people of Israel. Let's continue to uplift each other. Let's continue to stand for what is right. And let's continue to raise the flag in solidarity with Israel. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rabbi. All right, we asked 
Contra General Israel Nitsan, Mayor Adams, to please raise the flag here this evening. Would you all please rise? Avram? Sing something. What should you sing? We're going to sing the national anthem of the United States and national anthem of Israel. What's happening here? So let's just hold on for you. I have a feeling it's going to be. I'm Israel Chai. I'm Israel Chai. I'm Israel Chai. I'm Israel Chai. First of all. Oh, 
Hallelujah! Hey. 